We have a truck with a 38 inch diameter wheels is traveling at 60 miles per hour. Okay, so the diameter here is 38 inches and it's going at 60 miles per hour. Okay, find the angular speed of the wheels in radians per minute. So we want radians per minute. Now notice a couple things. First, this is in terms of miles and this is in terms of inches. This is in terms of hours, this is in terms of minutes. So we want to convert the miles into inches and the hours into minutes. Okay. So the first thing we have to do is 60 miles per hour. Let's convert that. So uh, the first thing we can do is get rid of the miles and convert into inches. So we want to replace uh, the miles into inches, but first we have to go to feet. So we have one mile is 5,280 feet. And then from the feet, we want to convert that into inches. So that's going to be 12 inches. So this will give me the inches, but now I want to convert the one hour into, into minutes. So we have the hour here, it needs to cancel out with the hour there, and then I'm going to replace it with 60 minutes. So just to double check here, the feet are going to cancel, hour is going to cancel, and the miles are going to cancel. So what's left is inches and minutes. So essentially, we have 60 uh, for both of these. We have 60 here, 60 here, those are going to cancel. So we have to do 5,280 times 12, and that's going to be uh, inches per minute. So 5,280 times 12, that's 63,360, and then that's going to be inches per minute. Now from here, we want to find the uh, angular speed because right now this is just the linear speed. So the angular speed, we'll call it omega, will be our linear speed that we found divided by the radius, which if you give us a diameter is 38, the radius is half of that, so that's gonna be 19. And that's gonna be in radians per minute. So uh, divide that and end up with 3,300 and 34.7 radians per minute. Okay, so this will be the angular speed. Now we wanna see how many revolutions per minute do the wheels take. So for that, uh, we will use a formula. So it's gonna be the number of revolutions, we'll call it R, equals the angular speed divided by two pi. Because that's how long it goes around a circle. And so we have the angular speed as 3,334.7 over 2 pi, and this is going to be in terms of uh, revolutions per minute. So dividing that, we end up with 531 revolutions per minute. And that's our final answer.